So today I want to talk about the lowly dark roast. And that's been the historical standard in coffee for decades. And there's a good chance that you and me and everybody we know, other than maybe the youngest generation coming up maybe in coffee now, that was the first type of coffee we ever tasted. But now in today's coffee scene, contemporary coffee, and when I say today, I don't mean like today, today. I mean the last 10 to 15 years, the dark roast has found itself in a bit of a public relations fiasco. And there are a few words that really draw the ire or get a barista all up in their feelings when strung together as dark roast. And just for a bit of background, the first wave of coffee was coffee sold in bulk, commodity coffee. Think hotels, diners, grocery stores, and the like. The second wave of coffee was the rise of big brands. Think Starbucks, Pete's, Tim Hortons, and things like that, who aim to produce higher quality coffee, but also implementing a basic cafe experience. And finally, the third wave. And that's the only wave I've known within my whole coffee career. And that wave sort of transitioned its focus to transparency and only serves coffee that met a certain quality standard, meaning it hit a score of at least 80 out of 100 points by a trained grader. But circling back to the point, the third wave was where roasts began to get lighter, and the tides seemed to change on how dark roasts were perceived, at least within the industry. And I feel confident saying this because I was there. I was one of them. And as most bad habits are, it was learned. And when I came into the coffee scene, I was being fed a steady diet of dark roast bad. Basically from the people who were training me, the people I was talking to, and the coffee culture at large, whether it be memes or just conversations with other baristas. And of course, even to this day, my preferences still lie with the light to medium roast. And much like 53% of the folks who responded to my polls on Instagram, I rarely drink a dark roast. And this comes down to some factors that I think could and honestly should change. And starting with the biggest one, and probably the entire reason many of us even drink coffee, and that's taste. I mean, why spend our hard-earned money on whether that be a cup or a bag of coffee if we don't like the taste? And based on another poll that I did, the vast majority of those who either rarely or never drink a dark roast is because of the taste. And I can't deny that that's a huge deterrent, but I think the broader issue of taste is the effect of a history and an attitude that sort of trickles down. For example, in the early waves of coffee, roasting darker was a way to sort of mask any sort of bean quality issues and also have a consistent flavor over a large quantity or maybe over a large area. Think how Starbucks tastes the same in the US as it does anywhere else in the world. This approach to roasting dark was basically an open secret and was more or less the standard, and it left a bad taste in our mouths, both figuratively and literally speaking. And of course, it was essentially against everything that the third wave coffee was all about, which I think clearly leads to 75% of my poll respondents to agree that specialty coffee is anti-dark roast. And even further down that same path, 18% of folks polled say there isn't even a place for dark roast in specialty coffee which is pretty illuminating, considering a significant portion of my audience are either industry insiders or home enthusiasts who are just interested in coffee as a hobby. To me, this shows that many of the people who are either coming in or coming up in specialty coffee are either being told or telling people that dark roasts are bad or low quality or inherently are ruining the flavor of the coffee as it is. And all this despite a customer base that's looking for it, because nearly every roaster, myself included, has been asked if they do a dark roast. And I can't help but think that the general negative or at best neutral view of dark roasts within specialty circles shows there's just a lack of availability and a lack of exposure to dark roasts done well. I feel like it's clear that if specialty coffee roasters would approach a dark roast the same way they approach a light or a medium roast, the differences would be night and day. So I feel like I can just flat out say a quality green bean coupled with a dialed in dark roast will produce a tasty coffee. Even Tim Wendelboe, who's a pioneer in light Nordic style roasting, told the Perfect Daily Grind that high quality material will always taste better than the lower, even when roasted dark. Of course, even if dark roasts did get a little more love in the specialty scene, I'm not saying that everyone should drink them or that they would be to everyone's preferences. I think we should just take ourselves just a little less seriously and consider that we're maybe missing out on a whole other side of coffee, not only as baristas and roasters, but also as consumers. I know that inside our specialty bubble, we see what we're doing as moving the industry forward. And in some cases, that may be true. A lot are aiming to be more sustainable, engage in more direct trade with farmers, and paying a fair price. 
So where's the downside in trying to pull in those who enjoy drinking coffee in a darker roast profile? And just increasing the number of people who are drinking specialty coffee? Coffee that's trying to at least do some good in the global market. I see that as a win-win just all across the board. So the TLDW of this video is, dark roasts aren't inherently bad. They've just been neglected, underrepresented, and forgotten by the broader specialty coffee community. But if they were given the same care as our light or medium profiles, it can still be good and also expand both our experience and the customer base. But with all that said, I think it's time I wrap this one up and pass the conversation on to you. What are your thoughts on dark roasts and where do you land on those polls that I posted on Instagram? Drop your answers to those questions and any others you may have in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram, at Sprometheus, for content throughout the week. My blog at Sprometheus.com. And as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.